In, in previous videos, I've mentioned about pillow sprays, and I'll give you an example of one here. These are little bottles of aroma sort of oils you can spray on your pillow or around your bedroom, which will ideally make you feel asleep, fall asleep faster. And there are various aromas that you can get. There's lavender, lang lang, witch hazel, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, all sorts of different aromas and uh, flavors, I guess you could say. The question I'm going to answer today is, do they actually work, right? Because there's a lot of marketing going into these things, along with all the amazing number of mattress companies, right? Which I'm sure you guys, I'm sure you guys have seen, um, going into marketing these things, saying they'll help you sleep better. And a lot of people are asking or wondering, well, do they actually work? Do they make you fall asleep any faster? Can they help you relax more? Um, and is any of it proven? So in a, in a nutshell, yes, they can and they do work. Um, but it works in a specific way, which if you don't if you don't approach it in the right um, if, you, if you don't approach it in the right way, it's not going to work as well as it could do. And the way it works, okay, is say if you spray this on your pillow before you go to bed, it contains a number of aromas which are meant to help you sleep better, relax, let go of anxiety, that sort of stuff. Um, say if you have one with lavender, it's been proven that it can help you release melatonin which is a sleep hormone, the hormone of darkness, they call it, because it's meant to be produced when you experience darkness. Uh, when the sun goes down, you produce melatonin and it helps you feel sleepy up to the point where you fall asleep and it helps you go into your sleep cycle. Now, yes, if you spray this on your pillows, you will technically produce more melatonin than if you didn't spray it on your pillows, right? The aroma has an effect on your body and it makes you produce more of the hormone. The issue is a lot of people are cashing in on the need for people to improve their sleep, right? A third of people in America, I don't know about the rest of the world, but a third of people in America have not ideal sleep, less than ideal, according to one recent study. And that's a lot of people. That's, you know, a huge number of people that are not sleeping as well as they could, have, could be. And for that reason, a lot of companies, especially pillow spray companies, are cashing in on this. And there are a lot of products out there that don't work. But there are a lot of products out there that do work, um, because if you have a spray that's supposedly going to in improve your sleep, a lot of people would buy that, and a lot of people do buy that. I mean, I bought one. <laughs> so, what I'm trying to say is, yes, the aroma will help you release melatonin, which helps you fall asleep faster and better. The issue is that if you're also doing things conflicting that, then it won't work as well. So, if you're doing things that inhibit the production of melatonin, like looking at screens right up until we go to sleep, looking at your phone, the glaring blue light into your eyes. These are all things that stop you producing melatonin. So you need to stop doing that, those things as well, right? Otherwise, there's no point taking this, using the pillow spray. There's also no point taking the supplements. Like, for example, if you're just, just want to have on hand, if you're taking supplements and using a pillow spray and you're looking at your phone right up until you go to sleep, these things all cancel each other out. So what you'll end up doing is spending money on things that usually would work, but because you're having your, you know, furthering bad sleep habits, like looking at your phone, like not meditating, like having a huge flashing LED in the corner of your room, whatever it is, these things all counteract each other and make sure that whatever you're doing with the pillow spray doesn't work, okay? And then that's when you end up leaving a bad review because you think it doesn't work, and then the company get annoyed because they think it does work. Really, it's down to the individual. It's down to you, okay? So yes, the pillow spray will work. It will make you feel more tired, but you need to do a holistic, you need to use a holistic approach. You can't just get a pillow spray and expect to go to sleep faster. You need to also make your sleep better. You need to get eight to nine hours of quality sleep a night, and you need to make sure that right up until you're going to bed at night, for the, first, for the last one or two hours of the day, you're not looking at screens. And you're not, you know, doing things which would stop your body producing melatonin. So you need to have a holistic approach, and that's what I hope you will do now that I've raised this point with you, because things like this, this, is, this one's by Dream Sleep, uh, saltsandco.co.uk. I'll put a link in the description. It doesn't really matter, because they pretty much they all work. There are some that are bad quality, some that are better quality. As long as you read the reviews and they're good, it's going to be fine. But like I said, you need to have a holistic approach, and it's both sides of the coin, not just spray this and you'll expect to have good dreams and fall asleep faster. You need to also not look at screens before bed and help your body produce melatonin naturally. 
So I hope this has been helpful. And if it has, please leave a comment. Send, let me know what you think. Have you tried a pillow spray? What were your experiences? And I'll see you next time.